going to have the basics of interception with Burp Suite interception proxy. So we've already installed Burp Suite and we've configured Firefox to send its requests to Burp Suite instead of going directly to the web server by going to Tools, Options, Advanced, Network, Settings, and set manual proxy configuration to localhost on port 8080, which is where Burp Suite is listening. In Burp Suite, there's an intercept button. If we turn the, leave the button off and then try a request, it will proxy through Burp Suite, although it won't trap it. So we can see that Burp Suite looked at all the traffic that went across and has it in the sitemap pane. If we go back to the proxy tab and the intercept sub tab and turn the intercept proxy on and then send another request, Burp Suite blinks, and we can see that the request has been caught by Burp Suite. It hasn't actually made it to the server at this point. It's trapped inside of Burp Suite, and we can forward the request on to the server. We can drop it, or we can turn the intercept off, which is the same thing as forwarding, but it won't catch the response. So if we just forward the request only, when the response comes back, it'll be trapped as well, and then we can forward the response back to Firefox so it can display the page. Right now in Firefox, Firefox is just waiting. Go ahead and forward the response from the server and then Firefox will be able to display the page. A better way to do interception is to only intercept items that you want to see. One of the ways to do this is go to options and then add a line here for the URL being in target scope. If your Burp Suite is not already configured for this, go down here and put URL is in target scope, and then add that to the list of intercept client requests. In a similar way, we can add the same line to intercept server responses if the URL is in target scope. We'll check this box and check this one as well. We do have to be careful with this because sites will often make AJAX requests in the background outside of their own domain and you will miss those. So we have those boxes checked off. Let's go back to the target tab and right click on localhost which is a site we're currently looking at and say add item to scope. Over here in the scope tab it'll automatically add that item. You can add items manually as well. Right clicking is the easiest way to do it though. Let's go back to the intercept tab and see if our requests are still caught. And it looks like they are. We caught this request. We'll go ahead and forward it. Now let's look at one example of what we can do with intercepting requests. So right now Matilday is in security level one, which employs some JavaScript validation. This is client side validation. There's no server-side validation in security level one. That comes in security level five. So right now, if we want to test for SQL injection, for example, we might put in a single quote and then try to authenticate. However, some kind of JavaScript validation says that it detected a dangerous character and has basically stopped the request from moving forward. So what we can do is we can send in an innocuous request that'll go past the JavaScript filter and be caught by Burp Suite. So we can see that username hello was sent along with password world. At this point, we can change hello to that single quote because the request has left Firefox and gotten trapped in Burp Suite, but it hasn't made it to the server yet. So we're gonna forward this request and then when the response comes back, we can already see there's an error message, which is what we were trying to cause. We'll forward that back to Firefox so we can view it in the browser. And sure enough, here's the error message. You can intercept any request and any response and change the request before it goes to the server using Burp Suite Intercept Proxy.